Why is it important to study industrial ruins? Why is it important and why does it matter to do the kind of work that I'm doing? Well, I offer different answers to that question. Certainly, revitalization is very important. And in the coming decades, Armenia will decide whether or not it wants to create heritage sites out of any of its industrial ruins. But in the meantime, we have a lot to learn from these spaces. What are some of the things we have to learn from industrial ruins in urban, in urban landscapes? Well, for one, I've already talked about heritage a little bit. One of the things that we learn is that heritage is a constructed concept. It's not naturally given. And when you realize that some sites are excluded and some sites are included in the concept of heritage, you realize that it is selective and created by experts and institutions who have certain conceptions about what counts and what doesn't count as heritage. So one of the important things about industrial ruins is that it forces us to think about what we think heritage is and what its limits are, what it can embrace, and what it should exclude. Another reason why I think it's important to study industrial ruins is because it offers us different senses of our relationship to the past. What does it mean to experience time? When you're in these factory ruins, you experience time in very different ways, because the past seems to pile up on top of the present. And sometimes it's not clear which temporal landscape you're in, past or present. So these are uncanny spaces in which we experience time in very complex ways. And we experience our relationship to the past in very complex ways as well. So they're illuminating in that way. They teach us about our relationship to the past and our relationship to time. Another way in which I think we have a lot to learn from industrial ruins is that they tell us a lot about our relationship with the material world and the natural world. Ruins are often spaces where the relationship between nature and culture, the boundary between nature and culture begins to break down, where it's not clear who is in charge and who has the upper hand. It's in context of ruination that we see that the material world, stones, metal, machines, walls, bricks, floors, they have their own temporality. They have their own energy. They have their own force. And in these spaces, human forces, human efforts, and non-human energies are all at play at the same time. So one of the things we learn in modern ruins is the relationship between humans and non-humans and the different forces and energies that they have. Not just in the context of Armenia, but more broadly, modern ruins force us to think about the destruction as well as the benefits of modern life the environmental impacts, as well as the gifts that modernization has provided. So Armenia has lots of decisions to make about its industrial ruins. Which of these different biographies and which of these different stories are going to prevail? Revitalization, continued decay and destruction, preservation, or heritageization? These are all possibilities, and there are other possibilities as well. And it's an exciting moment for Armenia to think about what kind of future it wants to imagine for its urban industrial landscapes. Thank you.